Divide the following numbers, 6 and 8 ninths divided by 2. The first step is to turn these into fractions. So this here is a mixed number. So to turn it into a fraction, we multiply the 9 times the 6, and then we add that to 8. So let's see. 9 times 6 is 54. 54 plus 8 is 62. So this is 62 over 9. Again, 9 times 6 is 54, and then you add the 8, and that gives you 62. Okay, this here is really 2 over 1. So whenever you have a whole number, you can write it as a number over 1. So now they're both written as fractions. So what we'll do is we'll use the definition of division. So whenever you divide, you basically multiply by the reciprocal. So this is 62 over 9, and we replace the division sign with the times, and then we write the reciprocal of 2 over 1, which is 1 over 2. So again, division is multiplication by the reciprocal. When we get to this point, we try to see if we can get any cancellation between the cross terms. So like the 9 and 1, nothing can happen here. But if you look at the 2 and the 62, 2 goes into 2 one time, and it goes into 62 31 times. And now we just multiply straight across. 31 times 1 is equal to 31. 9 times 1 is equal to 9. So this is an improper fraction, which is okay, but sometimes people want you to write your answers as mixed numbers. To do that, what we do, we, th we think about how many times 9 goes into 31. So 3 times 9 is equal to 27. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. So that's too big. So 9 goes into 31 three times. So this is equal to 3, that's the whole number part. And what's left over? So we get 27 and we have 31. So 31 minus 27 is 4. That's what's left over. And then you always write that over the bottom number. So it's what's left over over 9. And that would be the mixed number answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.